Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. And today we are going on with this fabulous uh, book, More Than a Horseman, about Tom Dorrance. And it's a collection of stories that his wife, Margaret Dorrance, and John St. Ryan have put together. And today's story comes from Tommy Marvel. I first remember meeting Tom at St. John's Ranch in the year of 1960. I was 13 at the time. The reason I remember the year was that an old Mexican cowboy named Albino Ties had died up at St. John's and my dad, Tom, and I rode in Tom's Jeep truck to help look for Ties. I think Tom had just come down from Enterprise, Oregon. Anyway, a few days later, Dad sent Tom and me down to the 25 Ranch to pick up some stuff. I asked Tom if I could drive his Jeep truck and he thought that would be okay. That was the beginning of a great relationship with a great man. I don't think my driving was too good, but Tom never said a word. The next day, we started back up to St John's and Tom said that I ought to drive again. This time, he started to school me on driving techniques. Boy, was he good. He had me driving like someone who'd driven dirt roads forever. I did so enjoy the lessons. Little did I know that Mr Tom Dorrance would school me on many, many more lessons in life. The next summer, after I was out of school, I caught up to the wagon at Wire Corral, which was one of those cow camps. Tom and his older brother, Jim, were there getting ready to start and ride some two-year-old colts. The wagon left for the next cow camp, which was called The Grade. But much to my surprise, Dad had me stay behind at Wire Corral and help Jim and Tom with the colts. That's when my real schooling started. I learned what feel for a horse was, how to sack out a horse in a most gentle way, to make a horse do something but make the horse think he came up with it and so much more. We'd get up in the morning and Tom would say, better eat good Tommy, because it could be a long day. Hell, they were long days. I don't think I ever had a teacher like Tom. I learned not only of horses, but how to live your life. And believe me, it still serves me to this day. I still think of that summer with Tom as one of the most paramount moments of my whole life. I remember so well also how Tom could just get on about any horse and have him handled in no time. There was this big sorrel horse named Nevada Red. Not too many cowboys could ride him. Tom said he had a couple of hard spots, but he thought he was a pretty good horse. The rest of us thought he had a death wish, but as usual, we were wrong. Tom had old Nevada Red lined out to become a pretty good circle horse. Tom said, Tom always said it wasn't always the horse's fault, but sometimes that of the rider. As the years passed, I would see Tom now and then at the Martin Ranch and he would get that little look on his face and I knew that more schooling was about to take place. After serving our country in the US Navy, I went on to fly for American Airlines and spent 25 years with them till I retired a few years ago. And you know what? Tom's lessons with horses also applied to flying. Feel. It's the same with aeroplanes as it is with horses. Keep your feel soft with an aeroplane as you do with horse and the result is the same. Smooth. I was complimented over the years on my flying and it all went back to Tom and the horses. One of the last times I saw Tom was at Elko County Fair. I told him how flying and horsemanship were somewhat related and he imparted in me was one of the things that made me the successful pilot that I was, that feel was a big part of both. He smiled and said that life 
was like that. I just could never thank him enough for all of it. I thought I appreciated him when I was young, but as the years have passed, the appreciation has grown even more. Thank you, Mr. Tom Dorrance. Now, as for Mr. Gunius, I remember him to be a black horse with white stocking feet. Don't think he liked men, but he did seem to like my sister Sally. My dad came home to the ranch one day and found Sally riding Mr. Gunius. He about had a heart attack and then he saw Tom. He didn't know at first that Tom was watching and helping her. Tom also had a little paint we called Spotty and like a lot of horses Tom rode, he had a few hard spots too, but it wasn't long that Tom had the kids riding him. Sometimes I think it was much to my dad's chagrin. Tom also had faith what horses and people could do. His brother Jim would sometimes say, not sure if the man made the horse or the horse made the man. One more thing. Boy, was Tom quite the inventor. He came up with new ways to make gate hinges using old horseshoes for various things. Putting a dead man in the ground, not a real one of course, to help when branding. He was always coming up with something to make work on a ranch easier and more efficient. Sometimes Tom and I would be walking across a corral and he would stop, look and say, I think we can make that, whatever it was, work better. I don't know why he used we. I sure had no clue what he was about to do. I just can't tell you what a force he was in my life and so many other lives. His traditions and teachings will be with us till time no longer stands. So with great gratitude and appreciation for this collection, of course, the living memories of all the people's lives who he touched, but this allows his work to go out to people who did not have the fortune to meet him and some who may never even have heard of him. So thank you for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time. Mm -hmm.